Hello, welcome to the third module about looping in Python. In this module, we will discuss about for loop. The function of loop in Python is to perform tasks over and over again. Take a look at this group of colored squares. Let's say we want to change every colored square with white square. Each box is numbered. If we want to tell someone to replace box 0 with a white box, we will say replace box 0 with a white box. Or for box 0 in a box, box 0 is equal to white box. Similarly for the next boxes. Here is an example of a syntax loop. Each number in the box represents a string data type that represents a color. In this segment, we will convert the i element into a white string box. The value i in statement squares, which is initially set to 0, will always increase by one value. Each iteration of the loop starts at the beginning of the range entered. Take a look at the 4i in range line. When the statement is executed, periodically, per element in the list turns into white. The process continues until we reach the last element that is i equals to 4. While loops are similar to for loops, the difference is that the while loop will only run if the condition is met. Let's say we want to copy all the orange squares from the list of boxes above to a new list of boxes, but we have a condition that we want to stop if we find non-orange squares. Let's assume that we don't know the value beforehand. It turns out that only two boxes meet the conditions. It's the first box and the second box. And if the condition is met, so the box is copied back. In the next iteration, a purple square is found, and the condition is not met, so the process will be terminated. Next, we enter the video quiz session. First, we create a new file. In this example, the file is called module loop. Don't forget to make sure the extension is .py. It should be noted that the creation of a file in Python is not only one way. So the most important thing when you create a new file, your display is the same like this. Next, we will try to make for loops first. Before that, we must understand what the range is. The range function is to display the sequence to be sorted, symbolized by i. Then, the input data is a positive integer. The output is a sequence of numbers from the input, starting from 0. For example, the input is 8. Then, the output that comes out is 0 to 7 instead of 8. Please type the syntax according to the video. On the second line, print i is a comment to print with as many loops as the first line, namely range 0, 8. After that, please save it first before run it on the Python terminal. Next is the for loop, but we add a third parameter. What's the function of the third parameter? It is the addition of each inputted number. Next up are the while loops. With the while loop, we can execute a set of statements as long as the condition is true. Here the command is print i as long as i is less than 6. The while loop requires the relevant variables to be ready to execute. In this example, we need to define an indexing variable, i which we set to 1. The thing to remember from the i plus equals function here is to hold the loop from continuing forever. Please type the syntax on the video, then save and run the code. 